A 16 year old boy from Townsend was so inspired by the history of the Man Gulch fire and smoke jumpers that he decided to start a project to preserve its history. Bringing awareness to it because of the impact it had entirely on fire and what we use now in fire. When Cole Bernard was nine years old, he researched the Man Gulch fire and smoke jumpers for a class project and did the work on this pizza box. I think it was Papa John's. Yeah. <laughs> Papa John's. Okay. <laughs> Wildland firefighting runs in Bernard's family. One grandfather was an aviation mechanic, the other a firefighter. His grandmother, an EMT, and his mom has been a wildland firefighter since 1997. I've been around the emergency services the whole, my whole life. After reading Young Men and Fire by Norman McLean, watching the movie Red Skies of Montana, and committing endless hours to research, Bernard's passion for his project, One Foot in the Black, grew. He started a Facebook page with his mom, where they fundraised for new crosses to be put in at the site of Man Gulch. But Bernard's work preserving the monument does not end there. Getting a better trail, like the trail itself is going to be miserable. It's a terrible terrain, but just like maybe a little better pavement, a little more signage, because they have like a little pizza box sized sign out there. One Foot in the Black has raised money to have the names of the Man Gulch smoke jumpers added to the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial in Maryland. Bernard says that without the sacrifices of the men who died 75 years ago, his mom would not be as safe fighting fires as she is today. New equipment, new strategies, different way to communicate, what they wear, basically shaped fire to where it is today. So far, One Foot in the Black has raised over $5,000, and Bernard's family has given roughly $15,000 to the cause. Bernard says the best way to stay up to date and support One Foot in the Black is through their Facebook page. A link for that will be featured in this story on our website. In Helena, I'm Allie Kaiser, MTN News.